Hi everybody, it's Marie from Spelterama again. Welcome back to my channel. Kim of the Hasha Boston. How is everyone? So um, we are doing bay windows in this one. All the bay window stuff. So we are going to build out most of this. Um, you know, you don't do the front parts just yet, but um, we're going to get these walls here in place and it's going to start looking a little more like a house. So hope you enjoy it. Okay, so we are back in here in the craft room um, because we are going to stain slash paint some things. Apparently I forgot about the oval window. This needs to be stained, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick too. Oopsie. Um, so what I was talking about in there, we have the vertical um, beams that support the bay windows, and we have the corner versions of those. So this is going to have one window attached. This one will have two. So it's kind of like this with the window in between it, right? So this outer surface that you're going to be able to view needs to be purple because I want to get my purple details into there with the trim, and that's one of the places I'm doing it. Um, but the inside being viewed from the inside, I'm going to go ahead and stain them so that it's consistent with, with everything else. So we're going to go ahead and stain first. Why? Well, because you can paint over stain, but you can't stain over paint. So if we get some stuff in the wrong place, we want it to be salvageable, right? So that means we're going to stain first. So once again, I got my gloves on and I got my Varathane stain. And I'm going to start up. I have my sacrificial paintbrush um, that I'm going to use. I, I did a slightly smaller one because I'm just going to do this surface here. I'm not going to worry so much about the ends because these are what are going to be glued. So you don't want to paint or deal with those anyway. I'm definitely not going to worry about this because A, that gives me somewhere to hold and less chance of getting, you know, stain in my paint and paint in my stain. Um, but uh, that's all you're going to be able to view because, of course, the windows are going to be across here and they're going to completely hide this inner part. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. I've got my cardboard over here to the right. So as I finish each piece, I can just set it up here to dry. Boom, boom, boom. Um, and I will go through doing a few of them and then um, on fast forward and then I will finish them up and I'll come back to you once they're dry enough that I can do the paint on the other side. Is these two here so again this one right here which I need to wipe that a little bit off there just doing this inside V portion of it right and then this one here you're doing the shortest one so you've got your bevel here this is actually gonna glue to the wall your frames are gonna glue in here and then we'll you know get that outside part purple so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these off camera and I will join you guys back when it's time to do the purple part All right so I have one of each piece out, they're not completely dry, but they are touch dry where I'm not going to put fingerprints in them. Um, I have a different paintbrush this time. And I'm not going to try to use the, um, you know, the big edging paintbrush, this one, because yeah, I'll get it everywhere. That'll make a big mess. This one I do need a small brush for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where we're going to do the purple on this one. Or these two rather. So on this particular piece, you'll see the part that has the grooves. This is the part you're going to be seeing from the outside. 
So this is the part I'm going to go ahead and do just this surface here. Because this surface will be glued to the side of the wall. This surface was going to be covered with uh, the window frames, right? So it's just this surface that we need. And on this one, same thing. You have a double surface with the grooves, so that's which one's going to be purple, okay? And so I'll probably, depending on how I can hold it, if I can hold it where I don't get paint everywhere, um, you know, I'll do the full thing. Otherwise, I'll probably just do, say, this part of it, set it down, this part of it, well, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. It'll be great. got it we have our two so if you notice I, I tried to make sure that I was getting into those grooves so that a bunch of paint doesn't build up in them build up in them uh, because you want to still be able to see the little architectural feature of it so we've got this portion of it here again that's gonna have a window on it that's gonna have a window on it these are gonna glue to the structure so we don't want paint on them anyway. So this is all you got to do really is outside and inside. So I'm going to set these over here. Same with this. I'll probably end up giving them two coats um, of the purple because it is a little kind of blotchy the first time. So I will go ahead and paint all these, paint them a second time, let them dry, and then I will meet you back out there to start putting these ones on the house. So now that the paint on these have dried, uh, we are ready to move on to the next step. Uh, please excuse the lighting. It's it's going to get harder and harder sometimes to light some of this stuff, but um, this is technically the next step, which we'll do in a second, but we're going to prep this one for that step too, because then I have to switch the camera angle to the front of the house. Um, so in the meantime, we are going to be doing the vertical supports for that bottom window that we, we put the, the bottom um, bay window bases on. And then we're going to be doing the middle one as well. So we're going to go ahead and get those ready. So what we're going to need for the right and left side, we need two bay window front mid pieces and four of the bay window side mid pieces. So there's six of these. There's three of these because these will also be used on this one right here, but we're not going to do that just yet. So. What we're going to need to do is just like we did with the other ones, we're going to set these up, right? So we've got the middle parts here, we've got the sides, and we've got the sides, okay? We're going to turn these over. We want to make sure that all of the baseboard is facing down. So they're all going in the right direction. There we go. So that one's down. This one is down. That one's down. And that one is down. Okay, and so just like on the previous one, we're going to line these up here and we're going to pre-tape them. Because as soon as we put those vertical um, pieces on, then we can put these pieces on as well. So, and we may end up having to do that for that last one. Yes. Okay, so you know what? Let's go ahead and do all three while we're at it. We'll just have to do this one after we do these two because I just don't have room anymore. Okay, so as we did with the last one, we're going to take these. We're going to leave a good size tail on either side because that's what we're getting used to, to help hold them in. We're then going to get our painter's tape stuck on itself. God. Okay. So we got this one here. Yeah, and when this tape took the paint, it just took a little bit from the edge. So like when I peeled it, it caught that edge and pulled it backwards on the other one. So I just have to go through and fix that, touch it up. No big deal. All right. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to set this to the side in preparation for the step that we need it for. So again, these are going to form the wall and then this is going to go on that center wall piece. Okay. I'm just going to set that out of the way so they got room to do these two. Here we go. 
go and then we'll put this one up here this way because this painter's tape is kind of sticky so as you can see it sticks to itself really good which is really really annoying all right there we go okay so we'll leave these up here until we need it for this step i'm going to switch the lighting around a little bit um, and get to the front so we can put this stuff on all right, so now we are ready to put some stuff on here. So what we're going to do is each of these windows will get two of these vertical supports. So you have a beveled edge here, and your beveled edge is what's going to go alongside this wall. And just like you did with this, you're going to make sure it lines up on the inside. Okay, so it's going to stick out a little bit over the edge of your, your wall. It's not a big deal. They, they meant for that to happen but it's, it's important that you make sure that this is lined up on the inside correctly. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna do this complete section here, um, and then I'll do the other one. But, all right, so we have this here, um, and we'll tape that. And then once we get those in, that's when we're gonna take this piece here, we're gonna put glue on the, uh, beveled edges, put them together. We're going to run glue in the center here and on these outside edges because it's going to connect right along here like so. Okay. And same thing, you're going to want to make sure that it's in there nice and tight and it's lining up against the inside edge. And these are going to be here like this. It's always good to dry fit it to make sure everything's on track to fit and it is. So you should see here that's what we're going to do. So I will put it on fast forward as I do that. Um, and I'll try to stay out of the way of what I'm doing. So here's hoping I can, I can pull that off. those set up for just a minute just to kind of grab a little bit so that they don't slip around on us when we're, we're putting the other part um, and then I will get that center part done for us there. So these should have had time to set up a little bit make sure they're still flush with the inside and they are. Okay so now we're going to grab one of these sections so they're the same top or bottom um, so we need to make sure that we have our siding is going down <laughs> And we'll dry fit this in again, make sure everything looks good and it's going to fit in with these just fine. And it does, um, of course, we'll have to push that a little bit more because you're going to want to make sure that it's one continuous, you know, piece here. It's, it's going to go in a little bit just because you've got the siding coming out at a little bit of an angle, but um, you want to make sure it's one continuous piece and that you're flush on the inside with both of these pieces and all that. So it's fitting really good. So I'm going to go ahead and set this here and get the glue in here. Yeah, let's open the glue. It'll probably be faster. Okay, so a little bit of glue on these bevels in here where they're going to meet. And so this one, we're going to do it in the center. And then we're going to do it on the ends here. Hopefully you can at least see one of these ends. I can't remember what the camera's showing when it's not. So I'm going to kind of spread this glue out a little bit just so it's not as much of a pain to clean up when it's time. It's already dripping on my stuff there. Okay, I got that end. This end. A bunch of extra glue. 
and I'm going to put a little woo. I'm going to move this down a bit and take some of this extra glue and I'm going to put it on the tops of these because these are gluing to it as well. I'll just put that in the middle of that, which would have been long. <clears throat> so now let's put this back on here. Do the center one first. And then the sides. And make sure everybody is in there nice and tight. So I'm going to come around to the other side. Hopefully I won't be too much in your way, but I kind of I kind of have to. Okay. So I'm going to maneuver these until I've got that inner one straight with the inside wall. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this tape over. Stuff to the front. I'm going to pull it nice and tight. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to get up under here if I can and get this extra glue. That way it doesn't dry up on the outside because that would look not great. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to pull this nice and tight. Same with this bottom one here. Get any extra glue that's squished out. And I'm going from the inside, do the same thing along all three edges and then up here underneath as well because that's that's where it has to go all right so this is lining up with this that looks good we'll do the same for here i push the side in and then we're going to pull a nice tension on that so it holds it nice and tight and then I've definitely got glue dripping down onto the post, which I don't want. And then I'm going to double check underneath. And everything looks good. Okay, so you guys in, everybody's straight. This is forming a continuous line. This is forming a continuous line. So we should be good. So now on this one, this is the one where we're going to do that again on this upper one. Okay. So I'm going to move some stuff out of the way, move the camera a little bit so that y'all can see, and then we'll do this one real quick. Well, here we go with this side. So we're going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to sit this here. And actually, I'll sit down because I want to dry fit my pieces again. Make sure I've got these head in the right direction. Okay. And get these on here. Make sure this is going to fit good, nice and tight, and it does. Okay, here we are. Voila, so it's going to be just like that, the same thing on that side. So, get this out of the way, get this out of the way, and we will do this one. Same thing as the others. So I like to hold it into place and figure out, okay, where's my other side that's going to need the glue because then otherwise I forget. we are going to do something slightly different which I probably forgot about for that we're going to want to put these bay corners in here just to kind of hold stuff I don't think it's going to hold anything on here but um, kind of in a way you're reserving your, your space for these so we'll do like we did with the other things uh, there it is we'll just kind of tape them in just to make sure that we're not messing anything up space-wise. And plus you get a preview of this is how these are going to look when they're in here. So, 
don't want to have happen is you know people put these the other thing in there and put those in there have it push it down and, and have it knock it out of square an appearance by the assistant to the assistant director who decided to jump up halfway through that particular part of the build so we're gonna give her a minute to get to hell down off of there or sit down or something <laughs> is a tiny bit of gapping on mine here and here um, but it doesn't look like I can fix that so I'm gonna mess with that I will come back to you guys later because this really should be right over here so this is my one chance to fix it um, if I don't fix it now it's not going to be fixed so I'm gonna go grab a mallet and just make sure that this is in as far as it can go without breaking it Right, so I was able to gently encourage it. Um, I, I just basically took the tape off and um, pulled that side off and then fit it back on there and something, whatever had been preventing it from going on there all the way, is now on there all the way, so that's good. So now we're gonna do is we're gonna do this um, section of it the same way we did this one. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that part up to this piece here and then we're gonna do this top one as well. So let me go get the top pieces. Okay, so I have put together the bay walls, the top ones, they're like an inch and a half. They don't have any grooves at all. And I did it the same way we did the other ones. These are the ones that are gonna fit up here, up underneath this roof, okay? So we're gonna set these aside. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this part up to this middle part and then I'll join you back to do <clears throat> the sides and the top. All right, so as you can see, I've got the mid wall on here now. Walk in front of you here. So we've got the, the middle wall on there now. So now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put our um, vertical pieces here and then we're going to use our whoop, top pieces and I'm gonna check and make sure that which way the slats are going. Um, and that's going to go up in here like so okay and then once we get this in here um, this is where these vertical oops, corners become really important because we'll sit this on here and then they advise you to take one of the large windows to sit here put it in this and make sure that it's square okay so that's what we're going to do I'm going to do that of course all in fast forward but that's where we're going with it
piece again make sure your siding is going down so we're going to glue on this top surface here we're going to glue between oops between the bevels and we're going to glue the ends okay talking about is taking the window sitting in here and just making sure that when this is all lined up that your window is nice and square because that way your windows will be straight and it is um, and this is probably one of the more important ones to make sure you have these so that this doesn't sag while it's drying and then dry at a lower position and you'll have trouble getting these in okay so we're gonna let this all dry for a good long time before we move on to the next part which is I don't know something <laughs> I think it's the roof, but uh, all right, see you back in a while. Okay, so as you can see, you got to meet the assistant director, the assistant to the assistant director, who um, were being complete menaces throughout the entire filming of this, um, and you saw the gaffer just walk by. <laughs> so, oh, cats get in everything. So anyways, um, that's it for our bay window portion of it for now. So in the next episode, I believe we are starting on the roof. So I will see you there. Himere is Jeff. Piano Bye.